Welcome to Vox Weather. We've got this very tight pressure gradient due to a high pressure system south of the country and the surface trough extending over the west coast, resulting in more gusting winds along the southern coastline and stormy weather on Wednesday over large parts of South Africa. So let's jump right into your forecast. <laughs> Well, there you have it, a chance of rain over almost the entire country on Wednesday, with showers at first along the east coast and drizzle along the escarpment, and then later that band of scattered thunderstorms extending all the way from the tropics over the central parts of South Africa and becoming scattered over the eastern Cape. Therefore, the South African Weather Service has issued a level 2 yellow warning, where severe thunderstorms could lead to large amounts of small hail, damage and winds, and disruptive rainfall late on Wednesday over the central parts of the eastern Cape with more gale force winds expected along the southern coastline. But becoming hot on Wednesday over the Western Cape due to Bergwind conditions temperatures soaring above 30 degrees over the northern part, 31 degrees in Langabon and a very hot day for the mother city with a high of 28 degrees with lots of high level cloud moving over the Western Cape and don't be too surprised if thunderstorms pop up here and there over parts of the Winelands as well as the Overberg later on Wednesday. A mainly easterly wind gusting along the southern coastline on Wednesday becoming hot and extremely windy in the crew and then later a few ice Slate thunderstorms moving down from the northern Cape over large parts of the western and eastern Cape. We are expecting those thunderstorms to become scattered and a few severe thunderstorms possible over the northeastern parts of the eastern Cape, which could result in large amounts of small hail and damage in winds. A gusting easterly wind along the coast of the eastern Cape turning northeastly for KwaZulu Natal. It's cloudy at first with a few showers along the coastline and temperatures remaining in the lower 20s. A mostly cloudy to cloudy day from Pumalanga and light rain along the escarpment as well as parts of the low felt. Maximum temperatures in the low 20s for the high felt and only 22 in Bombela. A cloudy Wednesday of fall in Popo with light rain in the low felt as well as along the eastern escarpment. Remaining cloudy in the bush felt but becoming hot and windy with temperatures around 30 degrees. It's a warm to very warm and especially windy day for northwest and then later becoming stormy with a band of scattered thunderstorms moving down from the tropics over large parts of the province. Becoming mostly cloudy in the northern Cape and that wind picking up with isolated thunderstorms expected over the extreme eastern part and the possibility of a few thunderstorms developing over the central as well as the western part. Into the late afternoon, a band of scattered thunderstorms spreading southeastwards over large parts of the free state. It's a mostly cloudy day in Halting with only isolated showers and thunderstorms possible over the central and southern parts. More stormy conditions expected into Thursday as that uh, surface trough extends over the Cape provinces with thunderstorms slowly spreading eastwards into Friday, uh, developing over northwest the Free State and then later thunderstorms reaching Halting as well as large parts of KwaZulu Natal with light rain in the Western Cape and along the southern coastline. Well, that's all from me and remember, no matter the weather, we're in this together.